When it comes to child support, I've made my opinions very clear. A man should be able to give up any rights, responsibilities, etc, etc to a child if he does not want it. Obviously, in the same legal time that a woman can abort. And obviously, if he finds out the child isn't his, like in this case I have for you today. Florida man ordered to pay child support even though DNA test proves he is not the father after state officials appealed judge's decision to stop payments. That's right. A judge has ordered that he can stop paying, permit uh, stop paying for uh, the child because obviously it's not his, and the state appealed it because of reasons. I don't know. A man has been ordered to pay child support despite a DNA test proving he isn't the biological father. Joseph uh, Sinawa of St John's County, Florida, signed the birth certificate of the child when it was born because he believed he was the father as you oh I'm sorry as you would because obviously if you believe it's your child you want to do right by that child but yeah uh, he claims he planned to be there for the child financially and was praying uh, paying a third of his paycheck in support but when he went to a court house in St Augustine last year to obtain visiting uh, visiting rights for the child, a judge ordered a DNA test that would determine paternity. Sinawa uh, says he was emotionally devastated to learn he was not the father. At the time, it had, uh, it had been taking $83 out of my paycheck, more than a third of my pay. He first told Co uh, First Coast News, when I thought I was a father, I didn't have a problem with it. Obviously, you don't. But obviously, a man should not have to pay for a child if he does not want that child. Obviously, he has. I think there should be restrictions on that. I think the woman, the moment a woman is first finds out she's pregnant, she should tell the uh, father, and he should have the same amount of time that a woman can legally abort the child to decide whether he wants to be a part of that child's life. And if he decides he wants, he doesn't want anything to do with it. He loses all visitation rights, all paternal rights, all father's rights, and with that it should come with losing the financial burden. Because obviously if a woman can get out of raising a child, then why should not, shouldn't a man? Especially if it was obtained by... You, you sit there and you hear feminists say abortion is necessary because a woman should not have to be forced to obviously carry her rape and give birth to her rapist child. I completely understand that. I may be against abortion myself, but I understand. That is something that is unjust and I will I will say an exception, an exception should be granted for that. Obviously if you're just irresponsible then maybe take a bit more responsibility in your life, but that's neither here nor there. So, obviously, back to the original subject, if a woman can legally abort because she does not want to carry a rapist child, as she, should, as she shouldn't, then shouldn't a man be able to cut off all rights and responsibilities if the same was to happen to him? Obviously, you've got cases of, like, 11-year-olds and fucking 14-year-olds and 16-year-olds. Obviously, here in the UK, that's legal age or consent. But in many states in America, it's not. And obviously, you have teach female teachers raping those kids. And obviously, sometimes it results in pregnancy. Now, that child was conceived through illegal means. Obviously, the man, obviously the boy, can't tell you to the woman, I want you to abort that child, but he should not have to pay child support. But under current laws, he has to. Shouldn't he be able to opt out of pater the paternal rights, paternal financial responsibilities, everything they could do with being a father, if he chooses to? Obviously, if a man gets to the, uh, gets to the point where he hasn't decided and his timeline runs up, then obviously he should be on the hook, because he had ample chance to denounce his rights, responsibilities, etc, etc, and he refused to take it. Then, yeah, 
I, I concur that he should pay for that child. But if a man, like obviously if a woman, as I've done a video in the past, there's a trend rising of women sperm jacking or spurgling people. That's where they uh, still sperm. They basically say, oh, I'm infertile. Or um, if a man uses a condom and she later goes in with a fucking turkey baster. Because that has happened and that does happen. He'll, you, and the thing is, a judge orders that a man has to pay child support because he was very irresponsible with his semen. Yes, doing the safest thing you can do to prevent STDs and to prevent pregnancy makes you irresponsible because you didn't dispose of your semen correctly. I seriously don't know. Obviously, I'm, I'm going way off topic when it comes to this. I, w I will get back to the original article in a second. But, obviously, I do think a man should be able to opt out. I, it's only fair. We afford women all these... Actually, currently, they aren't rights because they're not afforded to everyone equally. They're privileges. And when you actually look up the definition of privilege, which is a, a certain or specific right of... Uh, a specific right of awarded to certain groups or people above everyone else, then yeah, awarding women the only reproductive privileges out there does make them privileges. But anyway, back to the original article at hand. Obviously it's not that long, that's why I was uh, basically just rambling. St. Augustine attorney Brandon Beardsley first told Coast News that this is the time it is the first time he has seen this happen. I really seriously fucking doubt that. It happens a lot. I think here in the UK, there was a spate of DNA tests that were being done, and it came back that around about 33% of men were raising children that weren't theirs. Yeah. A third of men were raising kids that weren't theirs. Just think of that, about that for a second. So it's the first time you've seen it happen. I really doubt, I really, really doubt that. But he believes the state's appeal will ultimately fail. It won't. It won't. He said it was a waste of t uh, Florida taxpayer resources to appeal decision when the end, end result is going to be the same. The cinema is representing himself in court as he is tight on cash. No shit. He added, I don't want to keep reliving what I've already had to go through. I mean, I do feel for this man raising, uh, raising and caring for a child to find out that that child isn't yours. But anyway, what is your opinion on this subject? Should a man be able to opt out of uh, paying child support? If you don't think so, why don't you think so? Please let me know down in the comments below. All comments, well, comments are welcome, whether they be positive, negative, or anything. I'm just interested in, in a very, a varied uh, response and people's views. Obviously, not everyone is going to think the same as we shouldn't. When everyone thinks the same, the world is a boring place. Anyway, as I said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Remember guys, if you like what I do, remember to hit that subscribe, like buttons, and consider supporting me on Patreon or buying some merch from my Public store. Links to those will be in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.